Hey, I'm Chris Bartlett. And I'm Elise Santan, and you're watching Ward TV. This past Friday, students in Mr. DeCosta's U.S. History class ventured to Gettysburg, Pennsylvania to gain a better understanding of our country's history. Here's a story from the students. When you wonder what it means to be an American, think of this place. We are unique because we are sons and daughters of Gettysburg. After a 10-hour bus ride, a tour guide led students for six hours around Gettysburg National Park. Students listened to presentations from actors portraying Abraham Lincoln and a Confederate soldier. They traveled through the battlefield and visited many historical monuments in the park. Pickett's charge was an infantry assault that General Pickett ordered on Cemetery Ridge on July 3, 1863, the last day of the Battle of Gettysburg during the American Civil War. At the end of their visit, students reenacted the Pickett's Charge. Pickett's Charge starts opposite us, three quarters of a mile away. This is one of the problems Confederates have to contend with. They're marching across a mi almost a mile of open ground where they would be under artillery fire from the Union guns up here on this ridge. You're watching War TV! Blah, 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 blah! As the fall sports season comes to a close, Ward TV would like to bring you a special sports report, then an announcement from the Fitz House Student Council. Check, Check it out. out! Hey, I'm Terry Corcoran, and this is the Mustang Minute. Yesterday was the annual intramural badminton tournament. Ward TV was there to bring you the action. We'd also like to recognize all teams that have qualified for FCX and states. Congratulations to boys and girls soccer, girls volleyball, boys and girls cross country, and field hockey. I'm Terry Corcoran, and this has been the Mustang Minute. coats to the Fitz House office until Tuesday, November 24th. You can find old coats anywhere. In your car. In your attic. In your closet. Under your bed. In your basement. Anywhere. So, if you have any questions about the coat drive, talk to Miss McCarthy in room F29. Welcome back. You're watching War TV. And now our question of the week. What would you bring on the deserted island? Check, Check it, it out! out. If I were stuck on a desert island, I'd probably bring my best friend with me. Girl. A lifetime supply of French paninis. Senora Giacinto. If I was on a desert island, I'd bring Mr. Dolan so I could kill him and eat him. My copy of Lord of the Flies and a fork. I would bring a manual of how to get off the island. A pocket knife. Rachel Phillips. Rachel Phillips. There's a lot of stuff that goes into music concerts and music performances, so certainly there's elements of it that's difficult. Um, you know, certainly we want to have some things that are real challenge, so musically uh, there's music that's challenging for everybody, whether it's a, a concert choir group or chamber singers or band or orchestra, there's some um, challenging moments in there. But at the same time we want to have some things that are, are really comfortable so people can get out there and, and feel really good about what they're doing. <laughs> Well, that's all the time we've got. Good luck to all cross-country runners and state opens this afternoon. I'm Chris Bartlett. And I'm Elise Sondheim. Have, Have a fantastic, fantastic National, National Day, Day of Yo-Yoing. Yo <laughs>